Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and this is the video review of the Blue Microphones Mouse. Now every single video I've done in the past several months has had the Blue Mouse on it and every time I do a video someone asks me what is that amazing microphone you have and where can I get it? Now I do recommend that you watch this video in 720p, not because of the video quality, which I know is less than stellar, I apologize for that, but because of the audio quality. The audio quality is conveyed much better through 720p versus 480 and 360p on YouTube. Obviously to get the fullest quality, you would need to hear the lossless version of this recording, which I'm not going to be able to upload. So 720p will do you just fine. You'll get an idea and a feel of how this mic sounds, but I wouldn't recommend watching this video in anything but HD. Now, this is not really a consumer microphone, and many of you are going to be turned off by the price immediately. It's $1,000.99. You know, for $1,100, you do get a really interesting microphone. But for many of you, you're probably saying, $1,100 on a microphone? Why would anyone spend that money? Well, there's a lot of reasons, and I'm going to explain why in this video. But I do also want to warn you, as with headphones and as with really any other technology, you can't just rely on the microphone. I wouldn't want to spend $1,100 on the Blue Mouse and not have appropriate hardware to back it up. I mean, you can't plug this in via USB with your Blue Icicle. You're just not going to cut it. My setup is a pretty decent one, but even I feel like there's a bit of a shortcoming uh, when playing with the Blue Mouse. What I'm doing is I am going from a the, the microphone itself via XLR, which is what the microphone comes in, there's no USB variant, into a DBX286 uh, microphone preamp, and then I'm going into a Mackie Pro FX8 mixer via USB to my MacBook Pro, which earlier today I spilled Coca-Cola on. Luckily, I was able to pull the computer apart really quickly before it got to the motherboard and everything is fine. It was a close call though. I mean, we got, we got really close. I was freaking out. Uh, last thing you want to do is ruin your $2,000 computer. You're trying to sell before you leave. So uh, that was a little bit irritating, but in any case, I want to talk about this microphone and, and the name. Uh, the mouse is not named the mouse because of its small sound. It's a satirical name because this thing has some serious low end. And that's why radio announcers and really radio junkies have taken to it in particular because of that really exaggerated finite low end. It's designed for speech, and Blue, with all their microphones, says, look at all the neat things you can do with our microphone, and, and they do the same for the Blue Mouse. I mean, they mic this up on a, a bass drum and a couple of other instruments, but really what this is, in essence, is a speech microphone, especially for male vocalists. Because of this exaggerated low end, you get this really nice, rich rumble from a male voice. Now, Proximity effect on this microphone is pretty good. I'm about seven inches away right now. If I move it further away, as with any microphone, you're going to get the sound of the room in it. And it doesn't happen uh, in, a, in a very long window. That was about four inches away. And as you can already hear, it, it's drastically different and it's picking up room noise like crazy. Conversely, if you talk uncomfortably close, I feel that it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too oomphy. And I think really the perfect proximity is, is about seven to nine inches away. It's a little bit overwhelming in the base end of things if you're any closer than about four inches. Now, I wanna talk about the capsule, and this is where this thing gets, this gets pretty cool. The element here rotates. Um, you can rotate it upwards uh, to change from the floor refraction to ceiling refraction. And again, as you can hear, it changes the sound drastically. Uh, and it really is preferential to what kind of recording you're doing. Uh, this is kind of a little bit of distance, a little bit of space between me and the microphone itself. And uh, when you turn the capsule below, you can actually rotate it or uh, f you know, f refract it off the floor. Uh, and again, that changes the sound pretty drastically. Um, this capsule has surprisingly little handling noise. You can hear it, but it's very, very minimal. So you can change it while you're recording, especially if you're talking over the top of it. The reason I love this microphone and the reason people are going so crazy about it is because of this sweet, exaggerated low end. Um, and it, it really happens universally. Uh, now, there are a couple different models of the Blue Mouse. There is a, a blue Blue Mouse, blue in color. There's a silver and there's a black. Now, the black is pretty much synonymous on the market now in 2012. Two years ago, there was the blue version, which was a transformerless version. This black model does have a transformer in it, and it really is a nice transformer. Uh, and, you know, there's a big difference between a crappy transformer and a good transformer, but transformers basically cut uh, radio frequency and EMI interference from around the microphone. Um, and the one inside the Blue Mouse does a surprisingly good job. Uh, 
Um, unlike, mo uh, unlike mics that drop off around 70 hertz, uh, the blue mouse really holds on. It does drop off eventually, but I found it to hold on a lot better uh, than and to you know lose its uh, lose its frequency response a lot slower and a lot more gradually than some microphones which have that kind of low frequency drop off. So because of that, you would expect to get some some low end noise, uh, some rumbling, and it, ground noise is surprisingly minimal. It is there. It is existent, and uh, you can use software to kind of get rid of it, or hardware. I mean, the hardware is probably the better option, but for people that don't have an insanely nice setup, you know, software will do the job. Uh, but it, the ground noise is surprisingly low, and I found that even sometimes I don't even have to m mess with the sound at all because it sounds perfect uh, right from the recording. Additionally, handling is surprisingly quiet as well. Uh, my, my boom here is getting really pretty squeaky, but I mean, this moves with very little noise, um, especially when you shake the microphone itself. I'm here on uh, the spider mount, which is included with the mic, uh, and if you shake this, you can see the, mount, uh, the mic tends to move quite a bit. And you can hear that rumbling, but it really is not uh, as substantial as many would think. Um, this has a really tight cardioid pattern as well, so if I turn this around, you can see that the backwards rejection off the mic uh, pretty much eliminates that that type of interference and that type of sound, which is really great because if you're doing studio work, uh, you do want uh, that really narrow cardioid pattern and that tight pattern so that you can get yourself, but not really things surrounding you. This is an amazing mic and I love it. Again, you do need the hardware to back it up. You can't just plug this into your computer and expect to uh, get a thousand dollar sound. And even I, with a multi hundred dollar setup, uh, the DBX 286 is uh, three, four hundred dollars, and this Mackie Pro FX8 is about two hundred dollars as well. So I, I have six hundred dollars worth of hardware, and even I feel like this is an inferior setup, and that I could get more out of this microphone if I had better hardware. It's not for everyone. It is for uh, professionals that really do care about that exaggerated low end. But it is a fantastic microphone for vocals. It sounds absolutely brilliant. The rotating capsule is ingenious to be able to choose the refraction of the microphone. I love it. I've been using it for months and I'm sad to see it go. This goes back to Blue headquarters after a way too long and to everyone at Blue, I apologize for taking so long to review this mic. I just didn't want to give it back. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment to that snazzy iPhone guy in snazzy labs. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.